I invite you to stand for our opening hymn, 405, One More Step Along the World I Go. family, we come together to ask our Father for forgiveness. We have been selfish and failed to share our love. Lord, be merciful. We have been afraid and failed to share the good news of Jesus. Lord, be merciful. We have been stubborn and didn't trust you. Lord, be merciful. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. We sing the glory.
Lord God, your Son left the riches of heaven and became poor for our sake. When we prosper, save us from pride. When we are needy, save us from despair. That we may trust in you alone, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our reading. I invite you to stand to sing our next hymn, You're the Word of God the Father. through me. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. 
Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. Please be seated. Now, I wonder if you noticed that in both of our readings, God the Father and God the Son, Jesus, said, don't be afraid. That's very comforting, isn't it? It tells us that God understands that when we get frightened, when we get scared, when we're unsure of ourselves, God understands and God wants to comfort us. But in order to believe God when he says, do not be afraid, there is something we need to do. We have to trust God. So I'm going to have a little game. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I've got here, what shape do you think this is? It's a square, it's a square. It's actually, it's a cone. Ah, oh, there we go, we've got a cone. You're right, it was a square, but it was a cone that came out of the square. So I've got, these are great, aren't they? I like these. Now, I've got a couple of cones there. We've got a bit of an obstacle course, a bit of a um, figure of eight. And the idea is uh, I'm gonna need a volunteer. Ooh, ooh. Oh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Come on, Thomas, come and come and I know, I know, there, there can just be one. Now, I need you to pick an adult you trust. Daddy, right, excellent, come on then, Daddy. That was handy, that was handy. So, right, because the idea is you're going to walk from there, you're going to walk around, and then back to the starting point, but you're going to be blindfolded oh, no. so we're going to give it to, to, to there we go so there we go <laughs> there we go and you, what you're going to do is your dad is going to get oh we've been really making sure he can't see that oh there oh I never even thought to turn him around so. right Thomas you know what you've got to do you've got to make a figure of eight and you're gonna, what you're going to have to do is, Derek, your dad is going to give you the instructions. You can talk to each other, but what you can't do, Derek, is you can't touch him. Okay? So, are you ready, Thomas? Okay. Off we go, then. Starting right. Start stepping forward. Do you stop? To your right. Turn to your right. That's it. Go. Now, ten foot forward. Go. Left, right. Left. God, it's hard on it, though, isn't it? <laughs> right. To your right. Go to your right. Keep going. Now, go forward. To your right. To your right. That's it. Keep going in that direction. Oh, no. Go back and get stop. Slightly turn to your right. Stop. Go forward. Forward, 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 forward. forward. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Going. Now, stop. Turn to your right. Right round. Keep going. Stop. Forward. 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 You can't take bigger steps. Forward. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Forward. Right. Stop. <laughs> oh, how did you know that? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Forward. Go forward. No, stop. Oh. Oh dear. We've lost the thousand pound check. <laughs> Turn to your right. No, no, that's too far. Go back. Stop. Forward. 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 
go, go, go away. Good. Have you got your rod by? Yes. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Now, turn to your, your left. <laughs> your left. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Left. And you've made it. Do we give a round of applause? Go on. Well done. Well done. You've made it. Now, what was... What was Thomas? What, what before you run? What did you have to do in order to get around the course? You had to trust, and what else did you have to do? Yes, listen. Well done, and follow instructions. Well done, you guys. Thank you very much to our lovely volunteers. So I'm going to move our cones out the way. There we go. Yes, you're absolutely right. In order to get around the course, they had to listen and they had to be looking out for each other. And of course, the way we listen um, with God is we spend time with God listening to God. And that means by reading the Bible and by praying. And I found this symbol, which I rather like. It's the Chinese symbol for listening. And what it is, it's very clever because um, the Chinese symbol for listening is actually made up, can you see the different colours, of different words. So it's like we call it composite word. So this part is the Chinese symbol for ears. And this part is the Chinese symbol for eyes. The, the line across means undivided attention. And this section down here is heart. And then this bit is king or mind. So the Chinese symbol for listening means with your ears and your eyes and your heart given with undivided attention. There's no mouth in listening. It's all about the rest of you paying undivided attention. And the thing I really like about that is it reminded me of a very famous poem that George VI recited in his Christmas broadcast in 1939. It was the first year of the Second World War. And it came from The Gate of the Year by Minnie Louise Haskins. And it goes like this. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. So I went forth and finding the hand of God, trod gladly into the night. That's trust. That's trust. That's faith. And finding the hand of God, that is what Abraham did in our first reading. He didn't know where he was going to go. He didn't know what the future looked like. But he put his hand into the hand of God and trod gladly into the night. And God saw that trust, saw his faith, and it made him right with God. And God promised to give him as many descendants, as many children, as there were stars in the sky. And when we believe and trust in God, we are like Abraham, and we're like those disciples. And when we start to follow Jesus as our Lord and Saviour, we become children of God. We become heirs of the promise made to Abraham, and we become part of that heavenly sky filled with shining stars. We become the descendants of Abraham. Now, when you came in, you were invited to take a star and write your name upon it. Uh, if you haven't already done so, I do invite you to. Or if there's any additional names you would like to write on a star, please do so. And we've got... We've got a table here. I've done mine. I'm going to do that fabulous thing that they used to do on a bit of Blue Peter. We've got sellotape, and we're going to do the thing where you take a bit of sellotape and you wrap it around your fingers to create a bit of double-sided sticky tape. There we go. All sticky. And I'm going to invite you to take your star 
and stick it on our starry sky. And then we're going to place that on our altar over there. So if you'd like to come and do that, then I'd really invite you to come forward. Derek, if there's any chance I can borrow you for an extra pair of hands. Yes, they came to see Hawk and then. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. I won this. <laughs> We're going to take our starry sky and we're going to place it over by our altar. And that's going to be there for the next couple of weeks so that people can add their names when they come into church.
Well, I now invite you to stand as we say together the creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for our friends. For those of you who haven't been here on the first Sunday, we use the five finger prayer this morning. But don't, but don't worry, it, it's actually quite helpful, I think. So let's just start by being quiet. That's remembering what's brought us to church this morning. Let's just lift our palms before God. And say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to this place this morning. We come to worship you. We come to say thank you. We come to say, I'm sorry. We come to break bread. We come with our loved ones. And we remember those who aren't with us today. We pray for Frida. Bless her, we pray. So we take our thumbs. The one closest to us. So again, we remember those close to us, our families and friends. We say thank you and we ask that you would bless them. For the second finger, the pointy finger, for those who lead us along the way. Pray for our parents, for our godparents. We pray for our godchildren too. We pray for Nicole. Bless her. And for our teachers as they rest up for a few more weeks. The next finger, the strong finger, we pray for our leaders, particularly at the moment with uh, the, the, the leadership campaign. We pray that that would be an honest campaign and the right person would win to then lead us forward. We pray for wisdom, for integrity. We pray for leadership on the, in the world, particularly with the, with the war continuing. Help us never to forget that that's what's going on. For all those involved, Lord, that peace would prevail. our ring finger, the fourth one, the weak one. We pray for those who have been born today and we give thanks for them. But we also pray for those who died today. The grieving families. We pray that their souls will be in glory in heaven. And we now pray for ourselves for our little pinky finger. like Abraham, to trust and believe that we can be right with God. Guide us, strengthen us, we pray, today and the week ahead. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that 
ye can live lives honouring to your name. And we say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour. I invite you to stand for the peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called children of God. We meet in the name of Christ and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer one another a sign of peace. Almighty Lord, we offer you this symbol of the work you have given us to do. May it be used for the glory of your name and for the building up of your people. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord of all life, you created the universe, where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. And now we give you thanks because you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in him. You made us all each wonderfully different to join with the angels and sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this to remember me. After they had eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Saviour. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Margaret, and all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit today and forever. Let us pray with boldness the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The table of bread and wine is now ready. It is the table of company with Jesus. So come to this table, you who have much faith, and you who would like to have more. You who have been to this meal often, and you who have not been for a long time. You who have tried to follow Jesus, and you who want to. Come. It is Jesus who invites you to meet him here.
Let us pray. Strengthen for service, Lord, the hands that have taken holy things. May the ears which have heard your word be deaf to clamour and dispute. May the tongues which have sung your praise be free from deceit. May the eyes which have seen the tokens of your love shine with the light of hope. And may the bodies which have been fed with your body be refreshed with the fullness of your life. Glory to you forever. Amen. A few notices. Let's begin with the bands. I publish the bands of marriage between Thomas Reginald John Channel of the parish of St Andrews Burgess Hill and Stephanie Katerina Ralph, also of the parish of St Andrews Burgess Hill, but with a qualifying connection to this parish. This, uh, if any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, ye are to declare it. This is the second time of asking. I published the bands of marriage between Nathan Andrew Clark of this parish and Lucinda Grace Steele, also of this parish. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, ye are to declare it. This is the first time of asking. And I publish the bands of marriage between Miles Allen Jeffries of the parish of St Luke's Prestonville and Jennifer Bannister, also of the parish of St Luke's Prestonville, but with a qualifying connection to this parish. If any of you know cause or just impediment, why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, ye are to declare it. This is the first time of asking. Well, let us pray for all of our wedding couples. God our Father, bless all the couples who will be getting married here in the next few weeks, who are to be joined together in holy matrimony, that they may be faithful to the vows they shall make one to the other, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, other notices, obviously they're all mostly in the service sheet, so please do take them home and read through. But just to draw your attention to the fact that next week we have 10.30 Eucharist here at St Margaret's, and then 6 o'clock said evening prayer from the Book of Common Prayer, and you're very welcome to both services. If you do attend the 9 o'clock BCP Holy Communion service, this is just to draw your attention to the fact that there will not be one in September. There is also a notice in um, the service sheet about Eco Church. Uh, we're looking for a lead representative of someone on Eco Church, very important. Um, we really do need to speak into this. There's so much we could be doing to, uh, to improve the way we uh, engage with the environment. So please do get in contact with me about that. And if you're looking for something to do and you're interested in dinosaurs, yeah. then there is a dino day at the cathedral coming up on the 13th of August. So if you're heading down that way, that might be of interest. I'd also like to say a um, thank you to everybody who came to the croquet uh, tournament yesterday. Uh, we've, we've raised well over £100 for the church and we had a lot of fun. There'll uh, be some photos going up on the website soon. Particular well done to uh, the dynamos. So that was Derek, Thomas and, oh here comes David, he's come to take his bow. So, so well done, I'm just going to give you a well done David. So, And you, you, you took home the plate, didn't you? So they did very well, so we're getting that in row. So thank you, David, thank you. So, and then uh, also to uh, the Highbrook Hot Hoopers who took home the shield. So well done to all those who uh, came and played. Oh, well, yeah. thank you, thank you, <laughs> There is uh, tea and coffee and refreshments after the service. So if you don't have to rush off, please do stay for a time of friendship and companionship. Uh, church one, any other notices? Marvellous. Well, in which case, I invite you to stand for the notices and then our final hymn, 
186, great is thy faithfulness. The Lord be with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.